Now we'll see a different kind of question. Since we have seen the rotational kinetic energy and all those stuff, we'll see a different kind. How could same energy method could be applied over here? Really very simple. Likewise, we are going to do give a small displacement and then we are going to start our process. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to draw the same diagram over here with a small displacement. So spring is extended. So this is K. This is our M. So this is going to be L and this is going to be our theta and this is going to be our X. So we know very well we have what are the energies involved. So we have a mass over here. What kind of energy does it apply to this particular system? Just see what kind of uh, energy does this apply because since it is fixed and uh, let's assume it's going to give some kind of uh, movement in the downward direction. This is going to give a rotational kinetic energy. Okay, so it's going to be rotational kinetic energy since it's rotational kinetic energy. So kinetic energy rotational due to external mass half I omega squared. So I is going to be M K square. K is radius of gyration which is L. So I equal to M L square. So half M L squared omega squared. So next is what we have, we have a spring force, spring energy, so spring energy which is half k x squared, so x is this. So now if you could take, if you could solve this sin theta equal to opposite by hypotenuse, so x by 2l, x equal to 2l theta, okay. So x is equal to 2l theta, just if you could substitute over here, we are going to get the answer as simple as that. So everything in terms of l in this actually, so half ml squared omega is going to write, let me write it as theta dot squared plus then plus half k into x is actually uh, 12 theta so 12 theta the whole squared so half ml squared theta dot squared plus half k into 4 l squared theta squared so this is what is energy of the system so d by dt equal to 0 equal to half m l squared 2 theta dot into theta double dot plus half k so let's take 4 inside 4 by 2 k l squared 2 theta into theta dot so differentiated which is equal to 0 so theta dot theta dot gets cancels 2 2 cancels 2 2 cancels so we have m l square left off this thing 4 k l square theta so ml squared theta dot plus 4k l squared theta equal to 0 and we have one more thing to cancel l square and l square so theta dot plus 4k by m theta equal to 0 omega n is going to be 4k by m got the answer. So see this energy method could be used to solve 90 percentage of the problem and uh, till now what we have seen is the rotational part. Now we are, we are seeing some kind of, even this is rotational, but the system when we see is going to be a totally different scenario. Even that case, it doesn't matter at all, energy method applies. If you are expert, you could solve this answer very, very easily. Okay, we'll see in our next question.